guys, thanks for visiting. This is your reading for September the 10th to September the 16th. And as I always say, if you like this reading, please like um, or subscribe or leave a comment if you would like to, only if you'd like to. I have everything ready as usual. I'm just going to start as soon as I can for Aries. Um, so yes, here it is. The first card you have, you passed, is the Emperor. This is you. This is the Emperor. Um, yeah, so you are coming into yourself. This is about you being yourself, coming into yourself. This is what was happening at this time. Or coming back into yourself, because I'm seeing that you know you probably had some kind of um, lack of confidence or some problems within yourself. This is an internal problem that you had. And then um, at this time, you're coming back into yourself after a time of kind of a lack of confidence. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that what was happening was you were around some things, people or places or something like that. They were kind of making you erode your confidence. And what you're doing at this time was you decided to just follow people, things and places that made you feel better, especially people, because you might have been around some people who were draining you. And then you decided to be around people who were kind of adding to you, bringing you um, confidence, bringing you energy, all of that kind of thing, positive energy. And um, yes, that was really, really good for you. This was like a map. You're kind of following a map of people that were good to be around. And um, yes, there might have been some people who um, didn't want you to do this. There might have been some people who are, wanted, who are kind of trying to hold you back in a way, keep you around some people who are actually draining you. Um, they might have said, oh, don't do that, don't be around that person, don't do that, don't go here, all of that kind of thing. Now, this person cares about you, they're just a very cautious person, I'm seeing one person like that. But other people might have been kind of not wanting to see you expand, not wanting to, you to do well. You do have some of these kinds of people, maybe not around you, but around your energy somewhere, that do feel that way about you, and they did at this time. And yes, someone was definitely telling you not to go ahead with this, not to kind of go see this person or move away from the old patterns or whatever it was. Um, but, you know, uh, yes, they were talking to Aries. I don't know who they thought they were talking to. Of course, you were going to just do what you wanted anyway. Of course you were. And that's what you did. And I'm glad you were. You had to follow your own path. And really, this was about you following yourself, not following others, following yourself. The next card you have, you passed, is the Ten of Pentacles. So, yes, I'm seeing a few different things in this card, um, actually. I'm seeing, yeah, the first thing I'm seeing is that you're probably um, very slowly and carefully building up your finances. Maybe you were saving for something. Maybe it wasn't actually for a thing. It might have been just that you were very careful, because I do see that you like to have a certain set amount behind you, just as like a security. A certain set amount of money you like to have saved and um, yes this gives you this feeling of security uh, there's a part of you that actually does want security but there's another part of you that actually runs away from security I always see this contradiction in your readings so yes you you know you're building up your money at this time you're being careful of your spending at this time now you probably are usually careful of your spending, not stingy and mean and that kind of thing, but you have this kind of wanting that security and you, you kind of feel as if you need to have a certain amount sitting behind you before you, ha you feel that security. That's what I'm seeing with that Ten of Pentacles. The other thing I'm seeing with this is that I'm looking at this couple in the middle of this and they were talking once, this couple, but they're about to walk past each other. So obviously this is about a couple. Uh, I'm seeing at this time you probably uh, were missing someone. Now even though you're going toward people that you liked, that made you feel better, there was still someone that you were missing. And they weren't around you and you wished they were around you, that's what I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing that you might have had a final conversation, or not a final, but the last conversation you had might have been very difficult, you might have had an argument or you might have left things unsaid. I keep on th seeing things that are left unsaid actually. So you and this other person are both quite stubborn. Uh, I'm seeing that you know you are both thinking of each other at this time, you're both missing each other at this time. 
both of you might have thought that the other person should be the first person to contact you, if that makes sense. Like you were thinking, oh, I'm not contacting them. They should contact me. And they might have been thinking, well, I'm not contacting them. They should contact me. So you're both kind of seeing, thinking the same things, feeling the same things, missing each other at the same time. I really could bang your heads together if you're both like this. I sound like, a, like your mum. But no, I don't mean to sound like that. But yes, it's like, you know, you're both the same. You both miss each other. You both miss each other a lot. And um, you won't contact each other. You both have very, very strong personalities. I can see that. Um, so, you know, one of you is going to um, contact the other eventually. I am seeing it will happen eventually because you can't. If you have strong personalities and you both really, really miss each other, think about each other, inevitably one of you is going to crack and you're going to talk to the other person. That's what I'm seeing there. The last card you have for your past is the Hanged Man. So yes, you and this other person again, I'm seeing the same thing. Yes, I'm seeing this might be a love situation or it could be a friendship, could be either. You're both holding back. You're both holding back like this Hanged Man. I keep on seeing that. And yes, you're not speaking to each other. Um, yes, but you're thinking about each other like this man. He has a halo or a yellow light that looks like a light bulb, a thinking light bulb around his head. And also yellow can represent intellect. It can represent thinking. So yes, again, you're both thinking about each other at this time, but no one was saying anything. No one was doing anything. And, you know, you will eventually speak to each other. I keep on seeing that. I don't know who's going to crack first. I don't know who's going to say the first thing, make the first contact. But it is going to happen. It's going to come around full circle with them. You'll come around again. Because if you look at the shape of this man's legs, they're making a shape of a number four. So a number four can represent completion, coming around again, right back where you started from, coming full circle. It can be, you know, four four corners of a cube, all of that kind of thing. So things are going to be said. These things were left unsaid and they are going to be said. So you're going to come around and have this kind of conclusion in some way. I'm not sure if you're going to actually get back together properly or if you're a friendship, if your friendship is going to be the same as it was, but you are going to talk again and the things that were left unsaid are going to be said. That's what I'm seeing. So the first card you have your present is the high priestess. Um, yes, the high priestess can be kind of, you know, she's a very intelligent uh, priestess, obviously. She has a lot of knowledge, spirituality. She's very mysterious. She keeps things to herself and she keeps, um, she keeps herself to herself as well. She keeps part of herself hidden. She doesn't show everything to people. So I'm seeing there's a part of you that you keep hidden from people. I'm not seeing that you keep um, secrets from them. You're very open, you're very honest, you're like that, but there is a part of you that you do keep hidden from people. You do keep kind of one step away from people in that way. It's like, you know, I don't want people to really know everything about me. I kind of, it's not like you're hiding things. It's like you're hiding part of your person from people, if that makes sense. I hope it does make sense to you. This could be one of the reasons why you and this person in the Ten of Pentacles stopped talking. You probably did have some kind of falling out. Uh, I'm seeing that it's partly because of this that they felt that maybe they couldn't get close to you. I'm also seeing that there was a question. I'm seeing a question. Some kind of difficult or hurtful question. And this started off this kind of difficult conversation that kind of pulled you apart. There was a question around this. Maybe they said, uh, they asked you a difficult question or a horrible question. Maybe you asked them a question, I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's a question around this. Now, I'm seeing this person has always sensed this kind of distance from you. They wanted to get closer, but they couldn't quite do that. And so they couldn't understand why that was. Now, there is a deep reason why you felt that you couldn't open yourself totally when you're around this person. You did have a kind of fear of opening up, which springs from something that's deep inside you. That's what I'm seeing. Um, and yes, I'm also seeing with this person, there were faults on both sides. There were faults on both sides. 
you will connect again, I'm seeing. Uh, if you do want a deeper connection with this person or with any person, with any person, you're going to have to address whatever this is that's stopping you from doing this. Because, you know, you do want that. You do want that connection, but then part of you doesn't want it as well. So you need to try to kind of reconcile these two contradicting things that are within yourself. That's what I'm seeing. Um, yes, this, this, is, this is a big part of what did pull you apart. They couldn't get close to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next card you have your present is um, the towel. Yes, nobody likes to see the towel. Well, I've said that before. I've said that in my readings. Nobody likes to see the tower. And then I've had comments saying, oh, I love the tower. Okay, whatever you like. I'm seeing... Yes, okay, I hope this is going to make sense. This is a bit odd. This is a bit strange. You'll probably think I'm crazy or something, but I'm just going to tell you what I'm seeing. I'm seeing going against nature, going against nature. Um, okay, I'll try to explain this to you. This is about you coming to a realization that you can't keep on going along doing what society expects you to do or what your family expects you to do or what anyone in authority, perceived authority, expects you to do. Now, I'm seeing that there's a feeling of doing the right thing. It's like, everyone expects me to do this and I should do that. And doing that, you tried doing that for a while. You tried kind of doing what people expected you to do. Maybe settling it might have been, or stopping, or doing something, or staying somewhere, or being somewhere around people. Because I'm seeing this as reflecting the emperor, where you thought that you were supposed to, in quotation marks, supposed to be, or what you were supposed to do. And it made you feel really uneasy. It made you feel really upset. It made you unhappy. You didn't want to go along and do whatever this was. And um, you realized, you had this realization that there's no should and there is no should. There is no should. So you just decided to go with what you wanted to do. And this was a really big realization. You might have even hurt some people um, in the process because yes, I'm seeing that. This is really reflecting the emperor coming into yourself, finding yourself, finding your true nature. Uh, and yes, you cannot go against what your true nature is. That's what I'm seeing in this. So this, if you look at this tower, it's been struck by lightning, nature. So nature, true nature is always more powerful than anything that's man-made. Any man-made structure, any man-made kind of societal expectation, anything. It might be something like, you know, marriage. People might say, oh, you must get married, you must have children, you must live in a house, you must get this job. Wah, 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 boring, boring. And you're, and you're like, that doesn't suit, that's not me. It might not be any of those things, it might be something else. But it's like, that's not me. I don't want to just go along. I don't want to go along in this treadmill going on and on. I want to do me. I want to be me. That's, that's really what I'm getting. And that's your true nature. And what happened was your true nature struck this tower and it went down and your true nature won as nature always does. It happens all the time. You know, you see this when a natural disaster happens. All the buildings fall down. Everything that's man-made can never compete with a natural disaster, like a great big earthquake or a tsunami or something like that. You cannot compete with it. Just like this tower cannot compete with this lightning bolt. And so, yes, this is telling you as well that you are doing the right thing. You listen to yourself. Uh, and you listen to your own truth I'm seeing. When you did this, you felt so much calmer. Um, so this is telling you to keep on doing this, keep on following your true self. It's the right thing to do. It's the natural thing for you to do. The last card you have, your present, is the Hermit. So yes, the Hermit's obviously about being by yourself. What else is it about? But it's also about gaining knowledge, learning things, uh, you could be uh, on your way to somewhere. Maybe you're traveling to somewhere because this hermit is on a path traveling along. You might not be physically traveling. You might be, but you might not be. Um, you might be traveling along on an inner path. Um, yeah, so this, this hermit, he knows where he's going physically. He's expanding his mind as he's walking along, looking at this star in his lantern. Now, a lot of people, when they're meditating, 
when they go to expand their mind, expand themselves or whatever they're doing, yes, that's a drill, I'm going to ignore it. Um, they look into a candle, they look into a candle flame when they're meditating. It's a beautiful thing to do. I've done it before. Maybe you should try it. Um, he, so this, this uh, hermit, he's looking into the lantern and he's looking right into the flame, right into the star, and he's expanding, he's, again, he's gaining knowledge. So yes, I am seeing expansion in this. You're by yourself, you're thinking about things, you're growing internally, and you're expanding after this tower moment. You're going to keep on expanding. It reminds me of, you know, the Big Bang, the Big Bang Theory or whatever that is, when, you know, there's this Big Bang with the tower moment, and then you start expanding and growing and growing inside yourself. You're past any societal expectations. You're past anything else. This is what's inside yourself. And I think you might have been feeling that this expansion was going to happen for a long time before this or for a while before this, maybe a week before this or a month before this or something like that you were feeling something's going to change, something's going to change. And maybe you're expecting something external to change. But this is what I'm seeing. This is an internal change, but it's bigger than any external change could come to you. Because after this internal change, it's going to force a lot of external changes after that. But they're coming from you. They're coming from inside of you. Now, I hope this all makes sense. This is very, very crazy and weird sounding, I know, to some people. Um, ask me in the comments if you don't understand this. Uh, the first card you have for your future is the Six of Swords. So yes, I'm seeing you're going to keep on moving away from these old places that don't suit you, old people that don't suit you, and you're going to be moving towards ones that do suit you. And nothing can hold you back. You're going forward, you're going into where you want to be. I'm also seeing, um, yes, there also could be a new person around you at this time coming into your life. Someone who's very, very obviously going to be really interested in you and interested in you romantically, I'm seeing. This person's a really kind of a, they're a really peaceful person, they're a really gentle person. Um, and they're going to give you some advice and this is going to be really good advice actually. And um, just like this person steering this woman, um, they're helping, giving advice, helping you. Um, you're really going to appreciate this person, but I'm not seeing you're going to be interested in them romantically. Um, I'm seeing that, um, yes, you still have this unfinished business with this person in this Ten of Pentacles. And um, this is where you're moving toward because you still have these swords in your boat. You're still thinking about whatever was said, whatever this question was, whatever happened between you. This is right in front of your face. You're trying to move ahead into somewhere else, but you have these swords in front of your face saying, no, 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 you can't forget me, I'm here. You can't forget that person in the Ten of Pentacles or you're not going to be able to at this time and they're not going to be able to get, forget you. So eventually your boat is going to bump right into them eventually and you're going to meet and you're going to talk. That's what I'm seeing. The next card you have for your future is the King of Wands. I'm actually seeing protection in this card. I'm seeing you being protected actually. You might not feel protected, but you are going to be protected at this time. I'm seeing some people might be uh, a bit jealous of you. They might be saying kind of some nasty things about you, jumping up and saying things. What I'm seeing is as soon as you, as soon as these people or whoever this is jumps up and says something, the person defending you, the person who cares about you, is going to jump up and stomp on them and stop them. That's what I'm seeing. Someone who keeps on jumping up, a bit like a child's jack-in-the-box toy when you open the box and it jumps up. They're trying to jump up and this person just shuts the lid and shuts them down. That's what I'm seeing. So, um, yeah, there's someone who's really jealous, really nasty, that kind of thing. I see this kind of thing in your readings quite a lot, actually. But you have people on your side. You have people defending yourself, ready to get up and move and do things for you and help you, especially one person. There's one really, 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 um, really kind person who really cares for you in this. Um, and they're ready to jump up and defend you. It doesn't matter what it is. They're going to do that for you. This is a very special person. If you know who this is, you probably do. Um, 
Yeah, they're very special, very special to you. The last card you have, your future is at the Page of Cups. Aha, uh -huh. this is a message. This is a message. This is going to come from this person in the Ten of Pentacles. So now I can see they're going to crack first. That sounds terrible, but it is like that. You're waiting for them. They're waiting for you. I'm seeing they're going to be the person who's going to contact you first at this time. That's what I'm seeing. So, um, yes, you're going to open up. You're going to start to talk to each other. You do have a chance to be much closer than you ever were. You do have the possibility Please don't mess this up if this is what you want. Please don't be pig-headed. Please don't say, no, I was right, I was... Just, just listen, let them talk, then try to be calm. I hope you do do this, and I hope you do get together, and you will get together and talk, but I do hope that you become closer after this and that it works out for you and for them, because you do have this special connection, and really, you couldn't stop thinking about them. They couldn't stop thinking about you. You don't want to just lose this person. That's what I'm seeing now. Uh, and yes, they will contact you, but um, whatever happens after that is up to you and them, but a lot of it's up to you. So, Aries, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you would like to, only if you would like to, only if you're very nice. <laughs> I don't mind. But yes, thank you so much for watching.